Kia ora, good evening. Fonterra's contamination crisis is deepening. More products are being recalled and some countries have banned the dairy giant's products. And furious government officials are pushing for urgent action as the scare threatens to taint the country's global reputation. For the very latest developments, let's go live to Sharon Ferguson. Thanks, Bernie. Well, it, it really is a trade nightmare, nightmare at the moment. There's high confusion and high stakes. There have been top-level meetings all over town. Just half an hour ago, we were down the road where Ministers Joyce and Grosser were meeting with Fonterra, and then minutes later, everyone whipped up to the Fonterra building behind me where there's a media briefing taking place now as we speak. And in that briefing, there was some more details released about some of the companies and products that have been affected by this contamination scandal. This parent took quick action when she heard her carry care follow-on formula had been recalled. The first thing we did was my partner went out and bought um, something that was made, some infant formula that was made in New Zealand. Um, he went to the first supermarket, they didn't have anything, but the second one did, and, you know, and that's what she's using now. And, you know, from now on, we'll probably continue to use New Zealand-made formula. New Zealand made formula is not affected by the bacteria because manufacturers here don't use the type of whey that was contaminated. But they're in danger of being tainted by the scandal. Fonterra would be the way that they have uh, been on the back foot on this uh, issue. Uh, they would also tell you that some of the information that they've initially relied on uh, has changed. While some batches of nutritious carry care follow on formula that may have been contaminated have been recalled, there are reports it's still on some supermarket shelves. There was activity at the Auckland Nutrition office today, but no one was answering calls. So until um, the companies concerned are in a position to provide exactly precise information, I think we've got to expect a wide ban and the strategy will be, when we have the information, to seek to narrow that down and I hope eliminate the problem in time. The tainted ingredient went to factories in China, Australia, Malaysia, Thailand, Saudi Arabia and Vietnam. And although it didn't go to Russia, there are reports the country has banned all Fonterra products anyway. The entire world knows about this and uh, different countries are taking different positions and it's absolutely appropriate that they should. Good. China is recalling products supplied by Fonterra, even though the contaminated whey wasn't used in any Fonterra products. This is entirely appropriate. It's what I'm sure our authorities would do if the... Uh, uh, boot was on the other foot. It's dredging up memories of the 2008 melamine scare for the former Prime Minister. Transparency is extremely important where you're dealing with a food product which can be life and death for those who consume it. Those who consume it would like that too. Sharon Ferguson, One News. So Sharon, what's come out of this meeting so far? Well, Fonterra are now taking a bit of a different strategy. They're saying they're happy to reveal the names of the companies and brands affected once those have been revealed by the countries that they're, um, that they're in. So the regulatory authorities in each of those foreign countries, as they make public some of these companies, then Fonterra will make them public too. Now, some that they have released just now, um, apparently Coca-Cola in, uh, uh, in China and a large company called Wahaha in China were sold the contaminated way. They say that the, the processes that are used used to produce their product will have dealt with any of the bacteria and Fonterra agrees with that. Um, there are two uh, large feed companies, one in Australia, Maxim, and one in New Zealand, that say they've either contained the product, as in it hasn't hit the shelves yet, or they're doing recalls. Um, there are several other companies, uh, a, a company called Vitaco, a New Zealand company there, that says that it's, um, it makes uh, energy drinks and it says that its processing would have also dealt with the bacteria. So those are basically the three ways that this is being dealt with either contained um, like the carry care product that never hit the shelves or recalled if it's hit the shelves or they're saying that you know processing will have dealt to it so um, so that's where things are at at the moment um, the thing that uh, that Fonterra want to just get out there once again is that all fresh products are safe so your milk your cheese um, and your yogurt are fine and ironically any Fonterra branded product is not at risk of contamination either all right thanks for that Sharon Ferguson so here's what you need to know. The products being recalled here are Caracare Infant Formula Stage 1 for newborns to six-month-olds with the batch numbers 3169 and 3170 and Caracare Gold Plus Follow-On Formula Stage 2 for children 6 to 12 months old, batch number D3183. And these numbers can be found on the base of the tin.